What do you think? You want to go up there? Do it. Yeah, go up there. Do it. Get up in that pool. Yes! Oh my gosh, no way. No way! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Planet Zoo. I am Faith the Flaming Flamingo, and today we are going to look at the Eurasia Pack. And this is... Well, these are two of the mute swans. And from what I've read, they're called the mute swan because they make less noise than other swans. So they do make noise. It's just they they're not as loud, I guess. They're very majestic looking. Swans are, you know what I mean? What is that? That's odd. It almost looks like a leaf pattern. Like a leaf in their neck? Odd? Is this the male or the female? This is the male. So I wonder if they dive at all or if they just will swim along the um, along the surface like this well, let's get some research going with these guys so in this video we are going to look at all the different animals um, you may see because I um, a few of them are going to share some habitats with other animals, but um, I'm going to try and group all, you know, like all the swan stuff in one section and so on. And so um, you might see some like overlap of like, oh, we haven't seen this creep, like an animal back here um, that we haven't talked about yet or seen yet. Um, but so I think it's easier to to watch if it's all they're all kind of grouped together I'm gonna go check out that mobile I just put in there or are you gonna go right past it <laughs> maybe what do you think No, we're not really interested. Or maybe we're giving it a side eye. Or maybe we're pooping. They always poop on camera for me. <laughs> Wait, where'd it go? The poop disappeared. Oh, now we're checking it out. Yeah, what do you think about that? Very suspicious. That's what we think about it. Okay, great. <laughs> I mean, I was hoping they'd, you know, mess with it. You, no, yeah, they used it twice. Okay. <laughs> so these guys apparently... We'll eat from the fruit stick. Or the, the fruit spike tree thing. <laughs> and I'm not sure if they're actually going to be able to fit in here, but I like the... Um, really? <laughs> they, uh, they like the beaver dam. Which 
I think it's a cool idea. But I'm gonna move the the cattails. I think it's a cool idea. This bit looks a little funky because it's like at an ang um like a a sharp edge kind of thing. Um and like I don't know. It it just looks funky to me. <laughs> you guys feeding over here? What are you guys doing? You're getting to know each other? Aw. You just have to be in the shade, don't you? And in the, <laughs> the feeder. <laughs> Aw, that's so cute. Please don't poop in your bowl. Okay. Now we're eating from it. Oh. <laughs> oh, will you do more than just stare at it? Can you like, I don't know, miss with one of these or something? No. <laughs> birds. I'm <laughs> not really a bird fan. Like, they look cool and everything, but they, I, I don't know, they're, they, uh, they have some important business on their minds, like, all the time. Yet, I'm a flamingo, so I, I don't know. I got handed that card, I guess. <laughs> so, they can also use the forage pool I can fit it in here somehow. You know what? They actually don't need this much room in the water. Yeah. Well, that's that's that. <laughs> can I? Well, not with the water there. Hmm. That's not how I would like design it, right? Okay. So we're over that. Okay. <laughs> that looks terrible. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Well, we'll let them kind of hang out. I think they've mated. Yes, they're, they've mated. Are they pregnant? No. So we'll let them hang out and see if they'll mess around with stuff. Guys, our swan is pregnant. She's gonna have babies. She's gonna have little swanlings. Like, not duck. Right? Like, she's gonna have a baby. After she's done eating, you know, you got to prepare for this, this thing they call the miracle of birth or whatever. <laughs> you gonna have a baby? Are you gonna? Yes. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Oh, you have more than one. Two? Three? Oh my gosh. Three's gotta be the max, right? That is a lot of babies. Excuse me. And they're ginormous. <laughs> wow, they're big. Oh, you're so cute. So you already go in the water. That's cool. That's good. Oh my gosh. Look at their tiny little week. <laughs> this is so cute. It's like, <laughs> you just like ran over there. I'd love to see more interaction with a mobile. Instead of just staring at it. She's swimming, swimming, swimming. The baby's swimming. Oh, 
Of course, we're swimming through reeds right now, so. Oh my gosh. Are you gonna follow your, your uh, parent there? I don't know if it's the mom or dad. Oh my gosh. So cute. So cute. You gonna go forage? You go forage. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you guys, guys, did you see it? There was some jumping and flapping going on. Yeah, you gonna um, you gonna feed? You look like you were. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right, let's find out more about the muted swan or the mute swan. Although mute swans are monogamous, they do not always mate for life and may have several partners in their lifetime. Mute swans are the heaviest flighted birds. Oh, really? A particularly large male weighing 50.7 pounds was the largest flying bird ever recorded. Wow. Yeah, birds are um, like lighter, you know, because they're, they, they fly. So like... They don't weigh as much as they look like, I guess. Mute swans are highly intelligent and have been known to bear grudges. Oh, well. <laughs> I have heard that swans are not nice. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Mute swans have been introduced to North America as ornamental birds for ponds. The temperate climate, similar to that in Eurasia, meant escaped birds could comfortably survive in the wild. In English, the typical coloration of the mute swan is referred to as a royal swan, while the lu, lu oh, how do you say that leucistic leucistic morph is known as a Polish swan. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> That was it. What are you gonna do, Madam Swan? You gonna do something in that beaver pool? Cause that would be great. That would be great. Yeah, it'd be really nice. What do you think? Yeah, you gonna go up there? You can do it. You're like, stop watching me. Come on. What do you think? Looks pretty fun. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, if you could get more in there, that'd be great. There you go. Really? <laughs> wow. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Did you see the, the how her her foot like got the edge of it and like curled over the edge that was cool well done well done frontier i'm i'm loving that when they they jump they're flapping their wings too that may um may hint towards something in the future guys all right here is the s hello <laughs> here is the saga It kind of looks like, like an antelope and a taper mixed into one. 
<laughs> How cool. And here's our female. I didn't realize I had got, I had bought um, two males. <laughs> Oops. There we go. She's like, oh, good shelter. <laughs> oh, there you go. I wonder, can you guys go with camels? So guests can ent enter habitat. I'm wondering if they can go with camels. It doesn't say that they benefit, but that doesn't mean they can't like get along. I do that a lot. <laughs> like I need to save space. Um, plus I think it's kind of cool when they interact with different animals. So, um, I don't think camels, I don't think guests can enter, enter camel habitats, but okay. So the hanging feeder. Yes. You guys are new to the channel. You may not know that the Scarecrow is one of my most favorite enrichment items. <laughs> I think it's awesome. <laughs> I can also use the small barrel too, but like, hopefully they'll get right on the Scarecrow. Um, if you play the game, uh, the Scarecrow is one of those those enrichment items, the, f the food enrichment items that comes already um, prepared. So if your animals are starving, um, you can quickly feed them with the scarecrow, which is great because sometimes those, even even if it's just one habitat that the zookeeper maintains, they they still like forget to feed them or something. It's very annoying. <laughs> it's very annoying. Oh, <laughs> why? Why every time? I thought she was gonna interact with the barrel. My bad. You guys getting to know each other, I bet. I threw in some more because they um they like a bigger herd. So they weren't they weren't very comfortable with just bit two of them. Which makes sense. Um and they're it's only one male per herd. <gasps> Are you ready for the scarecrow? <laughs> yes! Well, and they're getting to know each other back there. Yes, you eat from that scarecrow. That's right. Are you guys mating back there? That's good. That's good. I want to see a baby. I'm so curious to what the babies look like. Any y'all pregnant in here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they are. Please don't have your baby in the shade. Please don't. Please, please don't. Thank you. I appreciate that. She's not um, immediately going to have that baby. but This is the month that she's going to have it in. There we go. She's probably gonna poop. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> I was gonna say, she's probably gonna poop before she has that baby. Yeah, please don't have it in the shade. Sorry about the dog. <gasps> There's a baby! No, come back here, baby! Come back here! Come back here. Yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh, that face. Oh my gosh, how cute. Excuse me, I want to see you. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so cute. That's got to be like the one of the top 10 cutest baby animals in Planet Zoo. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you guys think? <laughs> He's got the little mouth and everything. Are you a boy or girl? You are a boy. You're so cute. I think it's the prominent little like like um eyebrows 
or not the not the eyebrows, but the uh, yeah, I guess that's eyebrows. Um, the my first horse that I had, he'd uh, he had these like he'd look at you like with with the the his brows like in a triangle, and we called it called him his worry brows. And they'd like the muscle up there would would bunch up like that, and we'd call it his worry brows. He was an awesome horse. Yay! <laughs> you're so, <laughs> you're so cute. You're so cute. Can you do that again? You're so cute. Oh, now you're scratching. <laughs> you're scratching. You were so cute. You wanna you wanna call again? What? Oh look, somebody's eating from the feeder back there. Alright, let's find out more about the Saiga. The Saiga antelope can run up to fifty miles per hour. That's pretty darn fast. <laughs> The Saiga ant antelope migrates over 600 miles between summer and winter. Wow. The Saiga antelope's nose is thought to be adapted to filter out dust in the hot summers. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, that's cool. Saiga antelope are often pre predated by wolves and their calves are often killed by foxes, dogs, and eagles. Oh. The eagle one, cut. Oof, that's just, that sounds horrible. When trading rhino horns became illegal, saiga antelope horns became more in demand. Oh, and were often used as a rhino horn substitute in traditional medicine. This was even actively encouraged by rhino conservationists. Okay, but what about the saiga? I mean, it makes sense because, you know, the rhino is so endangered, but... I don't, I don't know. Are are saigas like, like deer in like the U.S. and stuff? That um, there's a ton of them and they're not worried about them. Are they have least concern. What are they? No, they're critically endangered. So um, <laughs> uh, maybe that wasn't the best thing. <laughs> and they're only found. I got how small their area is. You gonna, you gonna eat more? One thing um, I forgot to mention is that the Saiga was recently um, declared not critically endangered anymore. Um, it is near threatened now, I believe. And so that was just a few days ago, actually. So um, Frontier will be changing that in the next update. But, you know, they had already like programmed it or whatever whatever they have to do to change that stuff so um that will come with the next update that's great that means the world is doing better with um preserving its species so fantastic all right we're gonna take a little break here and look at the signs that they put gave us in the pack so there's the Hermans tortoise, of course, and the Saiga, the mute swan, the sloth bear, wild boar, the takin, no, sorry, it's probably takin, I think, the the scent, and the wolverine, and then, of course, they always give us a statue. I think all, almost all of us want a statue for every animal, but maybe one day, if we're lucky. The, the talking statue. And then if you do the career mode, there's a new career um, that came with this pack. And if you complete that, then you get the reward statues. So it'll be whatever medal you get, or like however, whatever stage you complete it at, bronze, silver, and gold, there'll be a statue of this guy. So there's that.
So unfortunately this time we did not get another walkthrough exhibit animal, um, which is too bad because I think that is a awesome newer thing that they're they're doing for us. Um, but this is the the Herm sorry, this is the Hermans tortoise. I thought it was Herman. It's okay. <laughs> the Hermans tortoise. Very. Very cool. I think turtles and tortoises are just are awesome. So we did. Oh, we got some rock piles. Great. For their Hermans tortoise. Oh, that's better. They're so tiny. <laughs> Okay, we got some more enrichment for the tortas. Nice big log there. <laughs> and a smaller log. And I. Alright, I feel like this is more like a tree, but. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, let's find out about the Hermann's tortoise. The Hermann's tortoise hibernates. Wait, Hermann's tortoises have hibernate for six to twelve weeks a year. The shell of Hermann's tortoise is made out of sixty interconnecting bones. Wow, I didn't know it was like it was bone. The shell, cool. The exact life expectancy of Hermann's tortoise is unknown, but thought to be up to one hundred twenty years. Wow. So if you, I don't know if you can have a Hermann's tortoise legally, um, but it'll outgrow, it'll outgrow you, like not outgrow you, um, outlive you, sorry. <laughs> so you better have a, um, I, I guess a, a will for your tortoise <laughs> or the, your tortoise better be in the will. Hermann's tortoises are the slowest growing tortoise species. Oh, interesting. Before their shell hardens, young Hermann's tortoises are vulnerable to predation from magpies, really, wild boars, foxes, and hedgehogs. Hedgehogs? I think hedgehogs would be, like, big enough to eat a baby tortoise. That's sad. <laughs> foxes, yeah, I could see, but, um, interesting. Very interesting. Right, I don't know about you guys, but this is something I've been waiting for for a long time. We have the sloth bears. They're so, they're so hairy, I love it. <laughs> they're so cute. They're so cute. Oh, yeah. Gotta inhale all those poppies. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Let me um, spruce this up a little bit more. Like, this is not great. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, I changed out the tree because it was just creating so much shade. To, um, which, you know, is fine for them, but recording... <laughs> this is not great. <laughs> Got a tree scatter for these guys. There you go. You gonna go check that ice block out? No, it doesn't really look like it. How about you? <laughs> you gonna check out that ice block? It's right in front of your face. We think. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, okay, that was enough. Scary ice block. <laughs> oh, he knocked it off. He, she, she, she knocked it off. He might want to check out the ice block though. No, he's like, I just claim climbed up here to climb down. <laughs> hey, hey, done. <laughs> um, 
They're very vocal. You guys, um, want to do the dirty? Oh, yeah, we're, we're thinking about it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's, she's pregnant. It worked. <laughs> All righty. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I've seen them do that. Awesome. We got more research done. Don't just pour it. Oh. Why? Yeah. <laughs> That's good. What do you think? You want to go up there? Do it. Yeah, go up there. Do it. Get up in that pool. Yes! Oh my gosh, no way. No way! Guys, if you have the sloth bear... Add the beaver pond. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> totally worth it. Totally worth it. That was so cute. <laughs> oh man, that was great. So, Planet Zoo or Frontier... No, Frontier has added, oh my gosh, this looks huge for them though. Um, but they added the ability, when did that become so big? I don't remember that being so big. The sloth bears can use the foraging wall. It's so cool. <laughs> Hi, can you have your babies now? <laughs> I want baby sloth bears. I'm expecting them to be like adorable. <laughs> yeah, they're they're pretty adorable. <laughs> I only have one though. Is that normal? <laughs> Look at that fuzzy baby. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need a little adjusting, but that's okay. I'm gonna, um. Alright! Oh. Oh, so cute. <laughs> you really got into that scratch. Chi, sorry. <laughs> you just type bombed the bobbin. Sorry, I missed it. There it goes. <laughs> nice job, buddy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> sure, you can bounce it with your head. That's fine. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> um, oh, look at him in the background. <laughs> Yes, thank you. There 
There you go. Thank you. Very good. Finally. <laughs> I don't know why the zookeepers, you know, they have plenty of forage things to put it in, like enrichments and stuff, but they'll still put it on the floor. <laughs> why? All right, guys, this is the talkin, I think is how you pronounce it. Oh, I love the variation in the color, the coat. Oh, I love it. You guys are cute. You're very cute. Oh, right into the water. Got it. Okay. <laughs> I can see them wanting a um, a mud bath. Could totally see them getting into that. <laughs> yes. Oh, I just missed it. Okay, well, they're made it now. <laughs> they'll made it again. Sweet! Good! So the Takins will eat from the melon, which is great. This is another one that comes in fully, fully filled. And again with the Scarecrow! Awesome. They're very cute. I like them. <laughs> Is that yours now? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's find out more about the talking. Takin can live at altitudes of up to 15,000 feet. Ooh. <laughs> wow. I might make them a um, kind of cliffside habitat. The Takin is the national animal of Bhutan? Bhutan? Not sure how to pronounce that. The Takin is a slow runner, but an excellent climber in adaption to its mon montane environment heard that word before. Takins have multiple vocalizations that they use for different purposes, such as a cough to warn the herd of danger, a trill to, to communicate with calves, and a roar when fearful. Wow. There are four subspecies of Takins. The, uh, <laughs> the Sikwan, Sikwan Takin, the Bhutan Takin, Golden Takin, and the Mish Mishmi Takin. Takin. Cool. I can't wait to see babies. <laughs> Give me babies. Are we pregnant? Yeah. Well, we're gonna have to wait a while for that one. I'm gonna. Oh, you're gonna rub your face on it. Oh, yeah, getting a good scratch. Yeah. Oh, nice scratch. You wanna wake up and have a baby? Huh? Oh, she does! <laughs> what do you think? You gonna lay down for that baby or you gonna have to stand it up? What do you think? Yeah, right there in the sun, that's a really nice spot. Oh, we're, oh I thought we were gonna poop first. <laughs> baby time? Yeah, oh my gosh! <laughs> I love it! <laughs> I 
the little knobs up here for the words. Oh my gosh. You're adorable. You're so adorable. <laughs> oh, so fuzzy. So stocky too. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love you. Yeah, I do. I love you. <laughs> so cute. Alright, here's the wild boar. Hey, dude. They do look cool. They do look cool. Um, I was just a little... I don't know, I guess a little frustrated that of all the animals in Eurasia, you know, we have the, the, the wombat. That's not similar. Um, we have the warthog. And we we have the the peck I think it's called the peccary. Um, oh, and the river hog too. So I mean they all have their you know they're a little bit different, but I just kind of felt like we we already have those. But he looks cool. We also have a lot of hoofed, hooved, cloven animals <laughs> in this pack. I'm really glad. Excuse me that we got the cloth the, the cloth bear the sloth bear. Um, and also another one that we will see in a few minutes. You guys want to have a my bath together? Or... Oh, are we baiting? Oh, we're baiting! Oh! Yeah! Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Oh, wow, she's pregnant already, too. <laughs> Good job. Oh, look at the tongue. The tongue actually is coming out to drink water. That's cool. Wow. Oh, they're having a little swim together. I don't know, they're they're kind of growing on me, honestly. They, they kind of have a sweet face. I know they're, like, really aggressive, though. At least from what I've heard, they're really aggressive in playing hide-and-go-seek. Um, but I wonder, you know, if they, if they have a sweeter disposition if they've grown up around people. Oh, no, she had babies! I didn't see it! <laughs> Ah! <laughs> yep, you're adorable. Mm -hmm. You're already in the mud? Wow. You gonna roll? You gonna be a muddy baby? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, she's, she's tuckered out. Oh, look at I didn't even notice she was asleep out of the leaves. This is the autumn leaf pile. Um, yeah, love it. We need more, like, ground cover stuff. Definitely do. Did you just step over that poor baby? Root? Oh, you're gonna roll. Hey, hey, hey. You're gonna roll. Yeah, get in a nice roll in the mud. Yeah. Here goes a baby. <laughs> I was like, hey, Dad, what are you doing? Okay, bye. Just check it. Oh, I bet that felt good. I'm going to do the other side. You gonna do the other side? Horses will do that when they roll the, um, not, not all of them. Sometimes they'll, they'll roll all the way over and do the other side. But some horses either prefer it or maybe they have a little, you know, back pain, something like that. And they'll, they'll roll on one side, then get up, turn around, roll on the other side. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes they'll, they'll roll all the way over. Uh, so wallowing in the mud. Oh, 
there's a baby. Ah, there's a baby. Baby's rolling. Baby's rolling. Ah. <laughs> Why is this so cute? Why? Oh, why is this so cute? <laughs> oh, they're rolling together! Oh! <laughs> oh, so cute. Man, I'm gonna have a hard decision coming up. Deciding what's gonna be the, uh, the thumbnail for this video. All right, let's find out more about these really actually awesome wild boars. If a wild boar mother dies before her piglets are mature, her offspring is adopted by other sows of her sonder. Oh, oh, so a, like a group of um, a group of wild boar are called a sonder. Wow, cute. Wild boars can smell edible roots and tubers buried in ten inches of soil. Wild boar hair used to be used to be used for toothbrush bristles. Oh, <laughs> no thanks. The wild boar's main predator is a gray wolf. Oh, really? Huh. The wild boar has poor eyesight, but compensates with its excellent sense of smell and hearing. Nice. Nothing about aggression. <laughs> Not really surprised. Well, you look like you're gonna investigate a box. You can go for it. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, you get that box. Yeah, that's right. Get that box. Get that box. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Are you, is your tongue out on the other side? Did you see the pink thing in the mouth? Is that a tongue? <laughs> that was fun. Oh, yeah, that's nice, huh? Yeah, I think I'm really... The, the wild boar are really growing on me. Yeah, you are. You are. There's, there's always an animal in every single pack where I'm like, Yes, finally! There's never a pack where I'm like... Nah, Nike. I don't need this pack. And I mean, I I'd get it anyway because because uh yeah, you know, I like I like doing videos on them to show everybody what you can get with the new packs and everything. Um, and I definitely like the construction packs cuz it adds more, you know, more more stuff to the game that you can you can customize with and stuff like that. All right, wow, big. <laughs> Welcome the Vicent. Vi no, v Vicent? I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. Are you stuck in that maple, buddy? Oh, you're... You actually got injured during transit. That's not good. Let's, um... Let's call the vet. Wow, he is much bigger than the female. Hey buddy, hopefully you're feeling better. They definitely remind me of bison, American bison. I don't know much about the American buffalo, but definitely the bison they look like. Kind of sound similar too. Did you get wet by the sprinkler? <laughs> like right now, I am watching this boar. <laughs> You're gonna stare down that scratching, that scratchy tree, what tree scratcher? I don't know what it's called. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's a good, good tree, huh? Yeah. Very nice. Oh, <laughs> that was cute. 
There's a little interaction. Hey, 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 hey. You guys getting to know each other? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Are we, are we mated? We are mated. Good. Good. She's not pregnant, but we're mated. That's good. That's good. Oh, she's pregnant. Well, we're going to have to wait a little while. Oh, I'm so sorry. I got caught up with stuff. Oh, you're very cute. You are very similar to a bison baby. You are very cute, though. Yeah, you are very cute. You are. You are cute. You guys gonna meet again already? You were gonna meet again already, wow. She's like, I'm done with baby, give me more. <laughs> Luca was having a mud bath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Oh yeah, so happy. Uh, uh, or just, you know, take out the zookeeper, that's fine. No! <laughs> So happy to have a mud bath. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's find out about more about the Vicent. Vicent. In Poland, the Vicent is known as a Zubar. Uh, uh, probably not Zubar. Um, I, I don't know how to pronounce. And it is the national animal of the county. Oh, cool. During summer, an adult male visant may eat up to 77 pounds of food in a day. That's a lot, isn't it? 77 pounds of food a day? Wow. The visant used to be heavily hunted for its hide, meat, and horns, which were used to make drinking horns. Oh, okay. There used to be three subspecies of visant. Two of which are fully extinct now. Oh, that's sad. The Car Carpathian, um, I don't know what BB Hungarium is. Native to Moldova, Romania, Hungary, Hungar Hungary, and Ukraine, and the Caucasian with Vicent, um, which is was native to the the Cuscus Mountains. I think that's how. It, that's pronounced in Georgia, Russia, uh, Az Azur bon Bonze oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> in Armenia, <laughs> the type species, um, so Bonusus is the Vicent we know today and the only subspecies to recover from extinction. Wow, it's always to me, it's always really sad when. Um, subspecies or any species goes becomes extinct. That's sad. Other than like a natural occurrence, you know, like dinosaurs and other, you know, like the ice age animals and things like that. Um, but when it's like human um, human interference, it's sad. The Vicent is the heaviest ter terrestrial animal in Europe with bulls occasionally weighing over 2,200 pounds. Wow. The record weight attained by Vicent is 4,188 pounds, though generally species is lighter than their American relatives. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, take out that Skittle. Yeah! <laughs> I usually just put the normal one in. Um, but because it's December and it's getting close to Christmas, I thought, why not? Throw a snowman in there. And the baby really likes it. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Oh, so cool. Here is the Wolverine. 
It's one of this one and the sloth bear are the ones that I was really excited for. Mainly because we don't have like other animals that are like them. Um, you know, we have like the badger for that's similar to the wolverine, um, Tasmanian devil now. Um, as far as a sloth bear, you know, we have other bears, but they're, they look very different. <laughs> they look very different. Oh, so cool. Oh, yeah, that would make sense that you climb trees. Mm -hmm. Please don't try and climb out. <laughs> uh oh, I need to, I need to change, make sure that these are not climbable, which they are. Do, 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 climb through both sides. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that could have been bad. Could have definitely been bad. Okay. Um, do you, can you guys, do you guys live in burrows? Excuse me. You burrow animals? Yes. Yes, you are. Oh, excuse me. You are, in fact. Why this way, but not that way? That's annoying. Fine, we'll go that way. Do you want me to put rocks up? I will put rocks up. I'm gonna put rocks up. Anybody has um, issues with escaping animals. This is one way to get them to stay in. Um, another, I, another way would be to use an invisible barrier and make your own uh, wall. But I don't. I'm not gonna do that right now. Really? You guys already made? Oh, you did. Okay. Cool. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, then. Well, Wolverine, Wolverines are, like, really cute looking. But I know they're, like... Whoa. All right. I know they're, um... I think they're, like, really territorial. Yeah, you get that ball. You get it. How dare it? Yeah! <laughs> I'm like, get out of my way! <laughs> you, gonna, you gonna go in the burrow? Yeah, you gonna go in that burrow? Well, there's no hesitation in there. Oh, I see her. She's coming. There she is. Go get her. I'm just really interested in this pillar. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna scratch it again. Wow. Go get your girlfriend. Yeah, go get your girlfriend. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yes, finally! Good girl! I mean, I know it's not your fault, but <laughs> I've been waiting a while. <laughs> oh, good. At least they don't, you don't have to wait like a whole year for these guys. Yay! 
So you may notice that this is a different Wolverine. Um, I ended up putting Helga back into the Trade Center and getting this girl, per Perko, maybe? Um, because her fer fertility was a lot better than, uh, than Helga's, so. For the purpose of the video, I decided I should get another one. Yay! All right, let's find out more about our Wolverines. The Wolverine's Latin name is Gulo Gulo, which means glutton. The Wolverine has an excellent sense of smell and can de detect food through th 20 feet of snow cover. Whoa. <laughs> That's crazy. Wolverines have a very strong bite that can crush bones. Wolverines have been known to drive off wolves and grizzly bears when protecting their food or kids. Yeah, um, they're, uh, vicious. <laughs> um, I don't know if they would, like, if you just came by and, and uh, you know, were just watching them. I don't know if they'd be, they, they'd be that aggressive or if you got, you know, within a certain, certain feet or something, then they would they would turn on you, but yeah, they're very, very aggressive. <laughs> Wolverines have large, specially adapted feet that allow them to run across the snow at high speeds. Oh, that's why their, their paws are so big. That's cool. That's awesome. Oh! <gasps> How many are you going to have? Two? Oh my god, look at the face! Look at the face! Oh my gosh! Hello! Perfect, perfect. Can you, can you get your feet? Yeah! Thank you! <laughs> Yeah. Go. <laughs> you can you can see the fluffy to see. Oh, yeah. Get that Skittle. <laughs> How dare it be there? <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, everyone. I think that is going to be it for today. Please let me know down in the comments which one, which animal is your favorite from this pack. There will be a poll coming up in the community section. Um, if I could... Put a, li a, a link in the description, I would. Um, however, they don't provide you with links to the the um, the community post for some reason. Not sure why. I guess maybe because it just comes up in the subscriber, the, the, your subscriber, uh, like if you're subscribed to the channel, it'll come up in that section where all your, um, where all the content from them are, is. Um, but yeah, a link would be nice. Anyway, um, they they I think it's a maximum of four pictures or options in a poll, and so there will be two polls available um, once this video is out. So, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.